Donna, I'm back again. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're somebody who's been here before and come back, welcome to you. Thank you for coming back. You are awesome. And this today is <laughs> it should say Poundland the Hall there. I'm gonna try and be a bit more technical with my videos and um you should be looking at Poundland there and I might even write hall underneath. But it's gonna be a small hall. Um because yesterday we went to Selly Oak. Now, first I say, tell a lie. First we went to Harbin to have something to eat because I was given um, a voucher. You know the pub vouchers, each eight vouchers. Christmas and I didn't uh, spend it, so I googled where I can spend it. Could have took, gone down Longbridge, but we thought, now nah, we'll go to Harbin. <laughs> you know, so we went to Harbin and I had a meal that only cost me three pound odd. So oh, happy days. Um, but it was happy for me because I had. Um, fish and chips um bread and butter and the butter was rock hard so when i tried to <laughs> butter the bread it like just ripped apart anyway so um i had that and they had chicken and something chicken strips chicken strips chips and some sauce and it looked like a child's portion <laughs> it was tiny so i had a massive big plate and he had a little plate but he had a pudding so we made uh, we made up for that and it only cost me three pound odd because Use me voucher. So, uh, <laughs> thank you for that too. <laughs> that was a Christmas voucher, which I've got lots of. And anyway, um, because we knew we was going there, Liam ordered something from Argus, a steamer, a clothes steamer from Argus that he wanted to pick up in Selly Oak, which is in the Sainsbury's now. So when we got that, I know I'm lot, basically I went to Poundland, which was next door. And anybody who knows, um, uh, what's it called? Just at the head. Selly Oak. Anybody who knows Selly Oak, they've redone all the roads and it uh, still needs a bit of work. <laughs> you know? But the road uh, to get out from the Poundland is a lot better because before it used to come out onto one road and everybody was trying to get in one sort of lane and nobody would let you in. So I never went because it was a bloody nuisance. But anyway, they've redone it all and if you go to Selly Oak, um, at nor the old Sainsbury's, which is like derelict, <laughs> but it looks a lot better. Um, Poundland's not that big there. They had no scratch cards. They had them on the display, but she had said they hadn't got any. And there's no self service tills now. I like a self service till. I just find them, well, I just like them. Apart from the fact I get loads of grief from them, but I just find when they're working, they're all right. It may just in and out, but they had none of them and no scratch cards so um i've got a few little bits because I, I, I was there and i thought i might as well pick up stuff the first items i bought and i need to put these out straight away before um the birds start attacking us bird seeds these are the sunflower seeds this is the limb do they like these ones is it they're like anything i don't normally get these ones little black seeds and mealworms they didn't have no peanuts. I like getting peanuts for the squirrels, but they didn't have none. But they love these, will be gone straight away. The proper pigs in there, some of the birds. <laughs> they are proper, like, you know, some of them don't stop until they've had the lot. Uh, anyway, so that's for the birds. Uh, well, hang on, just fell. So um, I'll keep the birdies happy. Next items, um, I'm having to buy more of these now because. I don't know if my hair's growing faster or I'm just getting older or so well I suppose I am getting older but my grey seem to be coming through a lot quicker than they did before I seem to be having to um, retouch my roots like nearly every two weeks it's bloody ridiculous but um <laughs> I just gotta, it's got to be done in it um but I don't do the back of my head I've never done the back of my head I've only done like there there and just a few little bits in between and then I thought what the back of my head looks like so i was trying to look with the mirror and i'm like mm, it's not that good is it to be fair i don't know why the back of your head isn't as gray as the front of your head i don't know if the sun does something but anyway um these are the hair dyes that i normally use on my roots before to save money on going to hairdressers all the time and hopefully liam will do the back of my head for me you better i could have promised <laughs> I said, he said he would he says how do I do it and I'm like 
Well, I'll show you. <laughs> you know, I'm doing my hair all the time. I think he just walks in the bathroom with his bloody eyes shut or something. I don't know. <laughs> What's he think I'm doing there? With lot? Anyway, um, yeah, so I've got two of them. They're two pounds each. And these work better on my head than the nice and easy and the Garnier, which is supposed to be 100% grey coverage, but they're not. <laughs> you know? So the two pound ones work much better on my head. Um, next items are these makeup remove cloths but i use them as um flannels i just use them as flannels i do i don't really use them to get my makeup off um i suppose i should do because that's what they're for but i use cotton wool yeah i use cotton wool and then like um if i've got something on my face that i want to wipe off i use these as flannels but anyway three in a pack looks like um i did look around for one that wasn't open but they were all open i think that's just the uh the nature of the rubbish packing to be fair look because even when you're trying to squash it back down you can't look rubbish <laughs> but i didn't buy it for the packaging did i um next item right i bought this many times before a peel off mask uh with charcoal now you know anybody who's tried these don't put it all over your face because it'll bloody hurt trying to get it off even though i do use my little finger and my tinkle shavey things and i do shave all my little fuzzy hairs off uh, i'm not going to put it all over my face because it was so painful trying to pull it off it proper brings a tear to your eye so i just use it on my uh, nose and my chin and my head because there's no hairs there yeah it's supposed to unblock pores. I need something to block me pores, not unblock. <laughs> anyway, so uh, that was a quid. And I got, I think, what did I use that? I should have really used. And I got this from Poundland. What is it? And I got like a little rubber thing. Oh, there it is. It's in my hand. <laughs> I use that. It's a bit dirty. It's a bit dusty. It's not dirty. It has. But I put that on use it with that now rather than getting it all over my hands and then when it's dry you can just pick it up that was from pound man that's a pound so anyway that's what i use with that um next item is their own brand stuff number six uh cleansing water i really don't know if it's any good uh suitable for sensitive skin dermatologically tested it should be all right isn't it it was a pound uh don't know, I can't smell nothing. No, that's good. Does it say fragrance free? Removes makeup whilst helping to cleanse, smooth and purify, purify the skin. All right then. <laughs> so um, I don't know if it's any good, but it's a pound. And I'll get through loads of this stuff. Not this particular brand, but I'll get through loads of this getting me makeup off. So that's me of item next items are me vitamins it's only seven in a pack and um these are for adults because the last ones i got i got the kiddies ones but i thought it don't, don't really matter does it oh you know vitamins are vitamins so i got two packs of them they were pound each next item is some um nail brushy things what are they called not called nail brushes are they shapers uh, two to neat and the edge need it look at the state of that one that one are half the bloody nails missing on that one but um yeah i need it so they were a pound now fall to desired length mm -hmm. so there's two in a the pack there the next item is well i wanted um i've been putting my foundation on with my fingers because i took the sponges away because they were a bit grubby even though I cleaned them, they still looked a bit, you know, when they were you're like, that looks a bit um, dirty. So they didn't have no normal sponge use. So I've got this one and it's got a little handle look. So it's the same thing, just with a handle on. So I'll, I'll try that out later. Well, not today, obviously, because I've got my leg on. It'll be tomorrow now. So that was what I got. I wouldn't have bought that of water. So, mind you, it might be better than the sponges. So getting all my grubby hands all over it, wouldn't it? So I've got that. And the next items is makeup. That burp then. Got the burps. Anyway, um, this says eye makeup. Sometimes it would help if I wore my glasses when I went shopping because 
I assume this is blue. It is blue. The fact that it's blue was a bit of a... But um, I tried to put some makeup on today, dark brown, and I ended up um, let's get rid of this, just taking it off because it looked a bit too dark. So I'm looking at that now. Thinking, is that going to be too dark? It is. But I'll give it a go. Look how dark it is. Mm. Oil paint, it's called, did it? Oil paint. Oil L'Oreal. Um, might be a bit too dark. Does it blend? Oh, it does look blends all right. Blends. Okay, now I need a baby watch to get that off. And hang on. Baby watch all this in. One sec. Alright, so get that off. And the next item is some more eye makeup, which is pink. This is uh, L'Oreal as well, look. So, pink, I think this might be more my cup of tea. Let's get this barcode off. Pink. You put that on your eyes. Mind you, I have got a little bit of pinky on at the moment. So I've got some pink eyeshadow and some blue eyeshadow. Eye paint, though. They're calling it paint, aren't they? Right, okay. And the last item... It says um, liquid velvet lipstick. I'm, oh, I'm sure, sorry, it should be showing you. I don't know what colour it is. Really don't know. Do I have a look? That's what it looks like in the box. So let's have a look. Oh, purple. That's all right. It's similar to the one I've got on in it. I've got purple on. So look. Wow, look at that. That's really dark, isn't it? It's very goth. Can't smell nothing. I don't know why I'm sniffing it. I don't know the brand. I can't say it. Liquid Velvet. Can you see the name of the brand? I can't pronounce it. So that was my little tiny haul. Not a lot. Because it, it wasn't the biggest um, Poundland I've ever been in. Not like the one in Albury that's massive. But still got me essentials so um that was all my haul thank you all for watching you are all awesome um if you've watched my videos before you'll know why i call you awesome um because you are because <laughs> uh, you take the time to watch my videos and give me thumbs up and leave me comments which is very much appreciated so thank you um my videos are random there's no consistency there's no um well there's nothing really it's just that i do a video and i feel like oh, doing a video tonight and um talk about just random stuff <laughs> yeah I, I need to be a bit more consistent than i but i can't keep buying stuff i'm not bloody rockefeller <laughs> you know you know when i don't like, i watch some people's videos right and i'm not being critical i'm just saying and i'm not are they rich how do they afford to buy all this stuff? And there's one lady I watch. I haven't watched her for a while. But she mainly did um, all Poundland stuff and charity shop stuff, which is fair enough. But I'm like, when she's doing like three videos a week of this stuff, and I'm like, where are you putting all this stuff? I mean, she wasn't a reseller or anything. She was keeping it for herself. But I'm like, well, why are you buying all that stuff? Where are you putting all that stuff? And where do you get all the money from? Well, you know, is your husband loaded or something? I mean, I can imagine if I kept bringing out stuff like that, Liam would be like, what do you keep bringing out all this bloody rubbish for? We've got nowhere to put it. So she can be a bleeding hoarder. I'd be a hoarder. Anyway, um, but I buy stuff that I actually want. Um, make a few little bit mistakes with my clothes because I don't know if some of the stuff's going to fit me or not until I get it home. But because I buy it from charity shops, it's only a couple of quid. It doesn't really matter anyway. Well, it does matter. A lot of money is money. I don't want to waste money. But if I'm only paying like £2 for something and it don't fit right, it's not a big deal, is it? But thank you all for watching, everybody. Um, this has gone on 14 minutes and I thought I thought this would only be a two-minute video. <laughs> so thank you all for watching. Um, take care. Um, if you want to give me a thumbs up, that'd be brilliant. If you want to follow me on Instagram, it's done at a brummy. I just put memes on there. So <laughs> okay, bye.